Hello, it's John Burford with Chart of the Week for Monday the 7th of March and I'm covering uh, mainly FTSE today. I've got a couple of other very interesting charts to show uh, but first let's get down to FTSE. This is my updated chart. I've been um, posting this chart now for several weeks all the way along basically this uh, period here off the corona crash low which is this this one here I pointed out that it's in an ABC formation I had no reason to amend that assessment um, and an ABC is a three wave pattern and always three wave patterns are always corrective to the main trend which was down because this is the all-time high here uh, in uh, 2018 we haven't seen a move above that high so we are in a bear trend uh, this would be my wave one my wave two and this is wave one of another three wave move and this is the correction to that wave down <clears throat> it actually matched at this point here which is uh, wave C of two uh, the high in early March uh, just before the corona crash occurred um, and uh, last week it went down there great big vacuum huge declines in uh, many share issues it's reached here this major support which touches many of these touch points here it's also met my uptrend line from that point that point and now that point so that's my line in the sand right here around the um, 7,000 uh, area. Now breaking that in a convincing way will throw up this uh, potential for uh, making my main target down here at the 5,500 region. We've got the momentum divergence. That's something I pointed out uh, in previous videos. And so I have a very high uh, expectation that despite any bounces which could occur off here of course in the next week or two the trend is definitely pointing down. Now I want to show you Tesla which is one of the most popular shares traded has been for some time. I've been tracking this as a basically a measure of bullish sentiment in the stock market in general. Uh, this is the um, a weekly chart. It's come off the uh, the low back here a couple of years ago. And if you notice, I can draw this lovely uptrend line um, from these lows, these multiple lows down here, multiple lows here. And a few weeks ago, it just came down and bounced down, uh, at least crashed down below it. It's tried to get up in, the, in what I call a last hooray. Uh, and it's now trending down. Now it's down 32% off its all time high. Uh, I think that's very significant. And it has led me, at least one of the factors, has led me to believe that uh, the uh, net zero um, fantasy <laughs> uh, is being proved just that. I will show you now uh, a very important chart. I would consider this one of the most important charts in finance today. Let me show it to you. This is it. This is the uh, chart of the carbon emissions market. Huge market now. These are carbon credits which companies who are uh, deemed to be green um, get for nothing and they can sell them on. Tesla is one of them. It's been a huge beneficiary of the carbon credit market. In fact, uh, pretty much all of its uh, earnings have come from, from selling these carbon creation, uh, credits. And of course, companies that uh, burn a lot of fossil fuels, such as steel makers, concrete makers, and so on, uh, have to buy these carbon emissions uh, credits and so they've been the buyers and people like Tesla have been the sellers. Now, look what's happened in the last um, uh, few days or weeks really. This is my wave three high. 
it had a correction down to wave four low. This is the final wave five up here. And this is my wave one down of a new five wave decline. This is wave one and wave two. And if you draw a line across wave three high, wave five high, and the parallel line from the wave four uh, touch points here, take it across. That is your major support. It was broken uh, a few days ago last week. And just look how it's come crashing down. This is a 50% drop in the cost of carbon credits off this high. That is hugely significant. Um, I'm looking for a, a, a way for bounce here. We'll, we'll get a, a relief bounce, but then I'm looking for a brand new low in wave five. Uh, that uh, I've boldly stated that net zero is now dead, and that is the proof. We've had a collapse in the carbon credit market. It is not a, um, a viable or even a uh, reliable market anymore. And I think the whole idea of net zero will be dying a death. The politicians will be the last to acknowledge it, but the market is usually the first anyway. Um, and they have certainly voted with their feet. Now, of course, the financial sector, including banks, um, um, face that prospect of a complete Com collapse in, of confidence in the carbon credit market and also the um, the net zero, um, what shall I call it? I still call it a fantasy and I believe it is. This is the um, uh, Lloyd's weekly chart. Uh, we've come off the um, September 2020 low in an ABC. It's broken that channel there, it's down here, and I think it, it is headed lower. And I believe eventually it should test the old 23 pence low down here eventually. Could get a bounce up here, but I would look upon bounces uh, in the banking sector as opportunities to, to sell.